Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Melly K for the people that didn't know yet how I sounded. This is how I sound. And as you can see here, um, well, we are going to make our account for Star Stable. Um, yeah, okay, so we just seriously just have to make a character and horse, I see. So apparently we can choose the face um hairstyle makeup eye color and the horse's coat and the horse's mane so that's going to be quite fun the reason of why i wanted to do star stable is i've already played star stable it's a great game in a way unless of course you have to um you know stick with the free things um like me i have to stick with the free things um but i still think it's Okay. It's an okay game according to me right now because it's not like I can actually do much However, um, so what we are going to do today is we are going to play this thing the whole way through um, Well as in in about 20 minutes or something uh, we are going to try to do as much as we can and um, After that um, we will probably just make some more um yeah, we'll probably just make some more episodes um, upcoming. So let's see what we can do with this. So first of all, it says that we get a free in-game gift for new players only. So let's click and find out. Oh, that's pretty cool. So three Star Rider days and 100 Star Coins. And we get this all. That is so cute. Okay, um, I definitely think I will love that. So, okay, let's start with creating my character. Um, I don't really know. I just really gotta go through all of the options, I guess, and just pick what is the most beautiful according to me. I don't really care about skin color that much. I mean, like, why wouldn't it be okay? Uh, okay, uh, I'll take this. Um, my own hair color will be more blonde, but not this blonde, but okay, I'm just going with the blonde anyway. And I think this hairstyle is the one that fits it best. My makeup would more be like that or like that. No, more like this, actually. And then for the eyes, I think my eyes are a little bit more like this but not that green but green okay um so now for the horse we are going to create our horse i don't know what i would name it yet but okay we'll find out later i guess um we have a whole lot of code colors um we have for example this one i mean it's really beautiful if you look at it i mean i think it's really beautiful and um, then we also have this one, also really beautiful. We have this, 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 and also this, and this, and this, and this one, 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 and this one. And to me, it really doesn't matter um, what horse that we create. Um, so maybe i should just use like a random number generator or stuff like that i mean the horse is going to be ours anyway so why even care okay so um how many um, numbers are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so a random number between one and fifteen. Uh, and the number between one and fifteen. Yes, Ooh, really do that, please. Twelve. Okay, it says twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so they chose this one. It's not really like the best choice, I'd say. Would I allow myself to go for another round? <laughs> okay, we'll just do it anyway.
Okay, it says one this time. Okay, I mean, it's it's a great choice, I'd say. Good, and then let's go for some hair. Okay, so definitely not that one. Maybe this. Or we could go for any of these. Or even this, I mean, we could do anything, really. I think that I'm going to pick this one. Okay, so as you can see, my character looks like this and my horse looks like this. So that's what we are going to do today. Um, we are going to write this one and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the information off camera and then um, I'll pick back up when, um, well, the game is loaded, obviously. So, okay, um, see you guys then. Okay, so we are back and um, I finally got the game to start. It had to update like a whole bunch of things. So, okay, today we are going to do this. You already know that, you already know which horse I created. Um, I'll tell you more about it a little bit later, but we are going to get like a whole introduction. Um, I'm going to try and read through um, with all of it, um, but I am not sure yet um, if that's something you would want me to do or not. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. It's loading. Okay, so yeah, of course we are going to play. According to the legend, the story of your fig began when a star fell from the sky. The star took the form of a girl on horseback whose light brought life to the island. Her story inspired heroes who protected Jorvik from all who would do it harm. Whether those threats came from this world or beyond, but her greatest gift to Jorvik was a special bond between a horse and rider. Through that bond, anything is possible. The people of Jorvik cherish their strong and lasting connection to horses today. Jorvik is famous around the world as a paradise for those who love riding. Legends long forgotten, its heroes are now found in riding halls and on the range. Your story on Jorvik has just begun. You're on your way to Moreland Stables where you will be taking care of your horse of your own. It's a dream come true. Perhaps you will build a life here, making friends and becoming a famous rider. But there is a feeling deep inside that you can't ignore. This island seems to whisper your name. Could there be truth in those old legends of heroes on horseback? There are no limits to what you can accomplish on Jorvik when you and your horse ride as one. What will you make of your time here? I do believe um, that their introduction seems to be a little bit different than it used to be, but um, I'm okay with it. I mean, why not? <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, th so on that way, I will actually try and um, read through everything. Okay, so now we can skip that, you know. Okay, so it tells us to use the arrow keys or the A, S, W, and D keys to move. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Um, so I guess that's just like this, but um, yeah, okay. You can talk to people with an exclamation mark over their heads, walk up to them, and press the left mouse button to talk. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. A left mouse button, Justin Moreland. Welcome to the Moreland Stables. I'm Justin, and I run the stable together with my dad. I take care of the horses here and make sure that each horse is matched with a suitable rider. Are you ready to meet your horse? Yes, of course I am. Duh. That's why we came here. <laughs> okay, so a new friend. Move close to your horse and click on the saddle to mount. Okay, we'll do that. Let me introduce you to your new friend. Amber Haven. So we're just going to call her Amber. I mean, I think it's a her, um, but we'll call her Amber just like that. Okay. I put on the tack and saddle for you already. So all you have to do is to climb into the saddle and I'm sure you and Amber Haven will be best of friends in no time. Okay. So we can definitely do that. By the way, as you can see, uh, my name on here is Letitia Cherry Forest. 
So if you somehow come into contact with me in any way, you can always just tell me anything. I mean, I don't mind. Okay. Amber Heaven looks really happy to have you up there. Do you feel comfortable? I think you two make a great team. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> By the way, guys, I think I might have a problem soon if I don't do this. But um, I have to really quickly take care of my, you know, my battery because otherwise it's going to die. Just have to plug it in. And there we are. It's back. I'm back. We're fine. <laughs> okay, so we are going to take care of this once more. So we have just a moraland right here. Um, having a horse isn't the same as owning a bike or a car. It's a relationship. The more time you spend around horses, the more you'll see how much you have to give each other. Here at Moreland Stables, we expect our guests to care for their horses, so let me explain the basics of horse care. Okay. Uh, so do you accept this quest, caring for your horse? Use the hay, bucket, hoof pick, and brush on your horse. Talk to Justin again after that. Okay, we can definitely do that. Um, I think we will have to dismount for that. Okay. Well, that's nice too. Click on your horse's head. Okay, we can do that. This is the horse menu where you can interact with the horse. On the left side, you will find the horse care options. Okay, next. Try clicking this button to scrape your hooves, uh, the hooves of your horse. Okay. Okay, she's doing that pretty well. Click this button to feed your horse. Okay, we can do that. Okay, she's standing awfully close to uh, Justin over there. Um, if you run out of food for your horse, you can buy more at the horse food store. Okay, next. Click this button to water your horse. Okay, so we can give it some water. It is standing awfully way out of the lead for that, but okay. If you run out of water, you can refill your bucket by dragging it from your backpack and dropping it on a well. Okay, clicking this button... Click this button to brush your horse. Okay, we'll do that. With its tack on, apparently, but okay. Caring for your horse conditions fulfilled. You have completed the daily care. Your horse got a little happier. Every day, you should complete this horse care routine to keep your horse happy. A happier horse moves faster. Okay. To check your horse's mood at any time, open the horse sheet by clicking here. Okay. So, as I can see, the mood is up the up here so that's good um here i can see your horse's mood and which care activities you have completed every day you miss horse care your horse moods will drop by one step okay nice um so next then you know now how to care for your horse have fun out there okay so i think we have to talk to justin again okay so justin tell us something well done, Letitia. Now your horse feels better and is happier. Of course, we are not Letitia, but I couldn't call my character Melike in here. So yeah, that is not going to happen. But okay. Okay, thank you, Justin. If you do this every day, your horse will soon be, hap be so happy that he will run faster. But if you don't take care of Amber Haven, or Amber Heaven, you will soon become sad and run slower. I mean, it's a she, but okay. Surely a responsible rider like you would never let that happen, especially not here at Moreland. Here at Moreland, we always need help taking care of, your, of our horses, and now I know I can trust you. Look at the notice board by the stable and see if there are any stable jobs that need to be done. We update it every day, so remember to look at it every day. Oh, and if there isn't any water in the bucket, you can fill it up from the well outside the stable or in the throw in your home stable. You can buy more hay in some of the shops. Okay, nice. 
and we got some experience for that and some money i guess okay nice you and amber heaven seem amber heaven i'm sorry um seem to be getting along great i'm sure you two will be sweeping across the riding trails of moorland in no time i need to make sure more horses find their dream riders but our stable girl maya drew can direct you to your riding lessons she's just outside this gate by the stables i'll get it open for you okay so we will get no yorvik shillings but we will get some xp for it so talk to maya she's a red-haired girl with a shovel waving at you from beyond the gate okay yes we'll do that okay so now it's opening oh yeah and there is maya i can already see her um that's nice i really always question what those horses are doing there but okay we can just get up in the horse and hop there we go oh my god this person has such a cute horse i love that one oh my god really i wish i could have that i mean i do have the app star stable horses but since i have only 100 star coins well on any account really um i mean it's not like i can actually get a new horse Hi, I'm Maya. Nice to meet you. Letitia, it's great that you chose to come to Moreland. Welcome. This is the best place ever to, stand, to spend your summer vacay. I'm doing a bit of work in a stables around here to earn some extra Jorvik shillings. It's always good to have some pocket money. Come back to the stables later and I'm sure we can find a job for you. Okay, nice. Um, did she, Does she want us to do something else then? Um, there is so much to show you and talk to you about, but first you should go and speak to Jenna. She can tell you a little bit more about how things work here in Moreland. Okay, so we are going to have to talk to Jenna. Uh, we would get 10 Eurovic shillings for that and 25 experience. Okay, nice. And I guess that that's the woman that we have to talk to. Okay, nice. Let's do that. Okay, so we have to talk to this, to her, okay? Let's do that. So many beautiful horses around here, I like that. Okay, there is Jenna, that's right, I'm Jenna. You must be one of the new arrivals. What can I do for you? Okay, nice. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Letitia. You certainly picked an exciting time to visit your Vic. Normally, Thomas Moreland likes to greet all of the new guests himself, but he's right now dealing with a bit of a crisis. He, the, that horrible company, GED, is trying to shut down the stables. I'm sure Thomas will find a way to save the riding camp, otherwise your stay here will be short indeed. I shouldn't trouble you with all that. You're here to experience your Vic with Amber he Heaven. Okay, yes. Before I let you ride beyond the stable gates, I need to see that you have a grasp of the basics. By the way, I do really have to look at the time from time to time because I know otherwise like, it may be a very long episode and we don't want that. So make one lap around the square track and come back to me. Let's do that. We get 15 Jorvik shillings for that, so we are definitely going to do that. When you are ready, press the button to start the race. Okay. I guess it's just um, one of those buttons. I don't even know. Okay, we, we are going, so I guess that's okay. Okay, you completed the race. Good job. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we have to talk to Jenna and we get some Jorvik shillings, I guess. Oh my god, is that a quarter? I love it. Fantastic. Nice work on the square track. You and Amber, have, Amber Heaven really worked as a team. Keep it up. I think you're ready for some bigger challenges. As promised, you are now allowed to gallop freely outside the stable walls. Okay, nice. Before you leave to explore the rest of Moreland, I want you to show me that you can jump with Amber Heaven. Okay. 
Jumping with your horse is all about timing. First, you need to make sure that your horse has enough speed. You want to at least ride in a canter gait. Then you command your horse to jump, and with good timing, you should fly forward over any obstacle in your path. I have placed a jumping obstacle in the middle of the square track. Try jumping over it. Okay. Jump across the obstacle in the middle of the square track, then talk to Jenna again. Okay. So I guess that this is the obstacle she wants us to go over. Okay. Nice, we will do that. Okay. So I guess, yes, it's supposed to be the space key, I think. Yay, okay, we did it. Whoops, we didn't do that right. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll put that away because we don't need it. Okay, fantastic. You and Abba haven't did great. It's time for you to move on to the bigger challenges. Okay, nice. What is that? <laughs> You need a bigger challenge than the square track. The stable gates are now open and outside, just past the shops, there is a paddock. Right over there and talk to Loretta. She is a member of the Bobcats, the Bobcats Riding Club and a great rider. She can be a bit grumpy with beginners, but never mind that. Ask her if she can show you how competitions work here in Moreland. Okay, so find Loretta outside the stable area by the small paddock. Okay, we can do that, I guess. So that should be here then. Oh yeah, here she is there. Okay. Let's do that, I guess. Okay, nice. So let's just do whatever we have to do then, I guess. Yes, I'm Loretta. Let me guess, Jenna just sent you here to learn the fundamentals of competition writing. Of course she did. All the girls at Moreland Stables want to join my writing club, the Bobcats. Lesson number one, the Bobcats only accept the best. Well, uh, thank you, Loretta. Who says you're the best writer in the world? <laughs> if you want to write with us, you have to earn your place. Lesson number two, always be training. Competition races are a great way to push your skills of a writer and to help your horse reach its potential. You don't form a bond like the one my horse Bartok and I share overnight. Before we move on to lesson number three, I need to see what level you and what's your horse's name? Don't tell me it's Puffy Hard or something corny like that. Amber Heaven? Okay, I guess I can work with that. Okay, nice. Oh, and we just leveled up. Okay, nice. Okay, I have my club set up a practice course in a paddock. Don't worry, it's totally basic. All you have to do is pass between the flags in the right order before time runs out. Let's see what you and Amber have not have got. Okay, let's do that, I guess. Okay. Okay, so this seems to be going all right. Okay, you completed the race. Good job. Okay, so I guess now we have to go back to Jenna or something. I don't know. Okay, Loretta. Oh, it was Loretta, of course. This wasn't too bad for a beginner. You and Amber Heaven are a good team. Now you can stay in the paddock and play safe, riding in circles, but if you want to make a name for yourself in the Jorvik riding scene, you are going to have to aim higher. Lesson number three, never settle for anything short of greatness. 
Speaking of greatness, Bartek and I have serious competitions to prepare for. My fellow club leader Tan can take it from here. Okay, so I guess we have to talk to that woman over here. Okay, there we go. You must be the new girl everyone is talking about. My name is Tatiana, but my friends call me Tan. Welcome to Yorvik. Okay. I hope Loretta did not scare you. She can be a bit intense with new arrivals, but she means well. She takes writing very seriously. Okay, yeah, we do too, by the way. That's why Loretta insists that the Bobcats be available to help the new writers at Moreland Stable Train. She calls it charity work, but I have a feeling that she's secretly scouting for future bobcats. Now let us talk about races. Here on Jorvik, writing is a national pastime, so you will find no shortage of races as you explore. Practicing on race courses is a great way to train your horse each day. I'm going to let you try out your, our basic race track. No pressure, remember, this is only for training, just give it your best. Okay, so ride the track and cross the finish line. I guess we could do that. When you are ready, press the button to start the race. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I guess um, the arrows already tell us where we have to go. Okay, this seems to be pretty okay. Okay, this seems to be okay. Okay, and I got silver. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, thank you. Um, let's go here and see what she has to say. Okay, so that was quite good for your first try. You've really never ridden that horse before. It seems you and Amber haven't were meant for each other. Okay, not nice. I think it's right, but okay. If you want to help Amber Heaven reach their potential, you will need to train every day. Race organizers like myself will give you one daily training session that will help your horse grow. If you are feeling competitive, you can also visit the race board and try for a high score as often as you like. When you use the race board, it will not help for your horse to train, but every rider can earn ribbons and riders with the best times can even earn prize money. Okay, that sounds... Good. I really want to know what kind of prize money that is, but okay. It was so nice to meet you, Letitia. Enjoy your time at Moreland Stables and don't forget your training. Okay, so I guess now we have to go to Loretta uh, because she has this um, thingy above her head, so why not? Okay. I saw you over there chatting with Tan like it was some kind of moment. Don't get your hopes up. Tan is sweet with all the newcomers, but she takes her writing club just as seriously as I do and would never just let any new writer into the Bobcats. Wearing the pink is something you earn by being the best you can be. Anyway, I think Justin is looking for you, probably needs help mucking out a stable or something. Better not keeping waiting. Okay, right over to Justin, who is in the yard where you started the game. Okay. Also, guys, I think that this is where we will leave it off for this episode. The reason is because otherwise it's going to be way too long. It's already over half an hour. So, yeah, okay. I just hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, a thumbs up, that means. And, I don't know, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that you never miss a single video. And I hope to see you guys next time with a new video about Star Stable. So see you guys then.